Good afternoon, Floss Tube. This is Kimberly Ann, and I'm back with Floss Tube number 16. I actually did a Stitch With Me video last Saturday or Sunday, I think, but um, I just labeled that one Stitch With Me number one because I plan on doing a few more. Um, I was hoping to get Floss Tube number 16 done earlier this week, but um, things have been really crazy here. We are currently looking for a new house. Um, so we've been running around crazy. Hubby is back at work, so that means I'm doing everything by myself. We had my oldest granddaughter for a couple of days. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy. So anyway, welcome to my channel. This is my channel about cross stitch, 99% um, cross stitch. I do talk about other stuff every once in a while. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button below um, so you don't miss any future content. And if you're returning, thank you so much for taking time to come back and check in with me. I love having y'all here. Um, and if you are a subscriber, I appreciate you so much. Um, I know I've been saying for a while now that when we hit 100 subscribers, I would do a giveaway. And this morning, I woke up to a message from YouTube saying I hit 100 subscribers. And when I checked, I actually have 101. So I will be showing you the giveaway later and telling you what's going on and how to enter. Um, and I hope you like it. I hope everybody will enter and have a chance to win. Because um, I definitely want to give it away. Um, so like I said, uh, things have been kind of crazy here. Um, just busy, busy running errands. You know, just the normal life stuff. Um, it's summer now, so we, we're outside a lot more. Uh, so not a lot of stitching gets done during the day. Um, I do most of my stitching at night now because we like to be outside. Our local gym opened back up, so I started going back to the gym, and I'm super excited about that. Uh, went yesterday for two hours. Excuse me. I didn't go today. Um, it was way too crowded. They can only have 66 people in there at a time, and I texted a friend that was already there, and she said they were counting kids as they were coming in the door, so they probably were getting pretty close because they did not do that yesterday when I was there. So um, I didn't figure I was going to take the time to drive all the way out there and find out I couldn't get in. So we're planning on going um, early tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, I'm not even sore, so that's super exciting. Um, a little bit about my weight loss journey. Uh, I know a lot of y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook or both. And um, this morning I posted a side-by-side -side of my weight loss app. Um, yeah, I only have like 19.6 pounds left to lose to hit my end goal. But um, I wasn't even excited about that. What I was excited about was the thing that got me my mindset to have weight loss surgery in the beginning. Um, the reason being, before I tell you, the reason being is because uh, back in 2017, I had hired a personal trainer. It's one of my daughter's friends. He's a licensed personal trainer and I absolutely love him. He is a wonderful kid. He's a great addition to the community. Like he does so much with the community. He's a basketball coach. He volunteers, um, he's very big in his church, um, community outreach, like he's a wonderful kid. Um, and I loved working out with him, but I was really, really struggling. And I knew at, let's see, what was I then, 46, 45, 46, I shouldn't have been struggling as much as I was. And so he's like, look, he said, I'm not saying you're old, Miss Kim, he said, but you're older. He said, you can't push yourself as hard as the younger people that's here with you. Because I started out with private lessons, but then one of my daughter's friends like, I want to go, but I don't want to go by myself. So can we meet in the mornings and ask him, can we go together? So, you know, we messaged him. Um, we, uh, we talked to him and he's like, yeah. He said, if you don't mind paying for your private lesson and doing it with someone else, you know, for their private lesson. He said, that's your decision. He said, but, you know, I advertise private lessons. So we totally did it together. But she's like 15 years younger than me. And. I was really struggling. She wasn't struggling as much and I was kind of concerned like was it my health because at the time you know my doctor was saying I was fine. Um, so he did like a BMI check and all that. Well my BMI was almost 50. Like I'm a medical assistant and I was floored when I realized my BMI was 50. So it was like obese class 4. So come around the end of 2017 I talked myself and have a weight loss surgery. Um, they scheduled me to go in for my first appointment in April of 2018. The day before the appointment, I called and canceled because I chickened out. Um, 
I scheduled it again in the beginning of 2000. No, later in 2000. Later in 2018, I scheduled it and chickened out. So then in November 2017, I finally, like, I got my mindset. I was like, okay, I have to do this. This is not, I'm trying to diet. I'm running, well, trying to run. I would run, walk, run, walk. I just never could get my pace. And I used to run track, so that was crazy. Um, so he checked my BMI again, and it was still at like 47 point something. So went to the doctor, talked to him about weight loss surgery. He put me on a, a plan to get used to the way I have to eat after weight loss surgery. And instantly my BMI started dropping, but it wasn't dropping very fast. Well, all this time I've been worried about the number, you know, the weight. Oh, your weight loss goal is 120, so you need to be losing this much each month. It's, I mean, yeah, I wanted to fit in smaller clothes. I wanted to be more comfortable going up and down the stairs because we live in a raised house. But um, the biggest thing for me was the health issue. So um, when I woke up this morning and I opened my app to put in my weight, because I weigh like every other day or so. I weighed yesterday, but I wanted to weigh again today because yesterday I ate before I weighed. So um, when I opened my app, I was the same exact weight. I went ahead and logged it anyway since I opened it. Riding down the road with my husband, I was just looking over the rest of the information because I never check it. I was floored because it said my BMI was, I think, 24.7, and it's in the normal class. The last time that I really checked it, that I paid attention to that number, was in February of last year, which was three months before I had surgery, and it was still like 40 point something, and it was obese class three. So I was absolutely floored this morning, and I was literally almost in tears because I am in the normal BMI range, and that was my... That was my end goal. My surgeon had an end goal for me of a weight, but my end goal was a BMI that was normal. So, y'all, I am so excited. And look, I am so sorry. I just rambled on so much, but this is a big thing to me. This is, like, who I am. This is so, so important to me. And I can tell you that that number, worrying about that number instead of the weight number, uh, has helped me so much. Because there's days, you know, even if I don't eat, I get on the scale and I'm heavier than I was the day before. And that at first that was kind of depressing, but then I realized that scale's not always going to say what you want it to say. Don't worry about that. You're supposed to be feeling better, not worry about looking better. I mean, some people care about that. I would rather just feel better. And I do. I feel 100% better. So I apologize for rambling on about that, but that's me. That's a huge part of who I am. And I said from the get-go that I would share my story, so I wanted to share that with y'all. Now let's get to what you're here for. I stitched a little bit on a lot of stuff. Um, I kind of figured out with the way things are going with us being really busy during the day. It's easier for me to work on one project for a few minutes. So I've been trying to switch out like two or three every day. Um, it's been pretty much the same whips, but I might work on three of them one day and then two of them the next day and then, you know, switch back and forth. And that's actually kept me from getting bored. And it's actually kept me stitching. And I've got progress. Like, I wasn't seeing progress, but I have two finishes, one FFO, and a bunch of stitching done. So, let me start with the FFO because I actually have to mail that today. This was a start and finish. It's for the, um, I'm in the Stitch People group for the, the Stitch People uh, DIY books. Um, I'm in the group on Facebook. It's uh, Stitch People. And they had a spring summer exchange. And my partner said that she was into um, social justice, social justice issues. Um, so I made her this, put on this cute little star. Uh, this is actually a hair bow that I bought at Walmart. And I took apart and then I added a button. And then I used my Lindy Stitches sticker and put on the back and told her what it was and when I made it and who the designer is and why we were exchanging. So this will go in the mail today. It's a couple days late, but I already messaged the girl to tell her that I didn't make it to the post office. Okay, that was a start and finish this past week. Um... Next, I'm going to show you my Mary Mary Needleworker because it is still on the frame because I'm still stitching on it every day. Um, so I'm going to show you that so I can get it out of the way. 
I didn't work on anything else except for the skirt. But last time you saw it, I was way up here on the skirt. So I've done all of this. And you see my needle still in there because I was technically still working on it. But I am loving the skirt color. It is gorgeous. I'm so glad I changed the skirt color. Okay. Let's see. Then I worked on this, um, I think two days. I took it to the splash pad with us when we took the grandkids and then I worked on it like two nights. This is Miss Mary Mac. I know all of y'all have seen this a billion times, but I actually got a lot done. Just have a little bit more of the words on this side and then the border and it'll be done. Oh, and this little bottom piece here. That is coming along so cute. This is for my oldest granddaughter. Um, that's the one we had a couple days this week. She has decided she wants me to make her a throw pillow for her bed because her and her sister got brand new bedroom furniture. And um, her furniture is white, so she wants that for a throw pillow. And she said she wants the front, the color of the fabric that I'm stitching it on, and the back purple because her curtains and stuff are purple. So I'll have to figure that out. But that's what she wants. And I have to make her pillowcases because she doesn't like the purple pillowcases that came with her bed set. Um, this one I think was a start last week or the week before. I don't know. It's been two weeks since I did a floss tube. So one of those weeks it was a start. I only got a few stitches. It's Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower. And then that's how much I got. This is the top big flower in the top left corner. And then part of the vine and the leaf and the peacock will go right through here. Let me put my thread back so I know where it is. Okay. And then in this one, let's see what I got going on here. I catch my thread. This is a new start. It's not much. It goes actually, I think, this way. This is the cup, the start of the cup for, um, I think it's called Honey Bee by Priscilla and Chelsea, the Stitch and Housewives. that one it's like I started at the center so it's like just two strips right here in the center of the cup and then the other one if I can find it well I don't you know what I didn't print the cover photo for it so I have to unfold it for you so you can see it because this was a start and finish, and it's on the same fabric. This is Old Glory, and this is fabric by um, Fortnite Fabrics. It's the one I did the uh, floss tube and chill and the sew tweet on that I finished like two weeks ago. All right, let me keep up with my needle. And then while I'm in this bag, let me get, I'm going to show you some of my haul because it's in this bag. So, Honey Bee, the new one that came out yesterday, Hello Summer, and Bloom. That was all part of my haul. Oh, oh there it is. And Old Glory. That was all part of my haul. I'm going to just show you now since I'm in this bag and it's all in this bag. Because I'm doing it all on the same fabric, I think. And then, let's see what's next. Let's 
I don't have, my hair's driving me nuts. I don't have a printout. I didn't print the color picture. But this is Freedom by uh, Rovaris. I think it's Livia Rovaris. Only thing I have left to do, I think the last time you saw it, I had everything on the inside done except for this star, this word, and this word. So I've done all of that and the entire outside border except for the red and white that goes inside these little dips and the scallop. So I just have to finish the scallop and it's finished. And this is on Dill, 18 count Dill by Picture This Plus. So I'm almost done with that. I think I'm gonna finish that one tonight. That's probably what I'll work on. I gotta go outside and do some stuff, but when I come back in and stitch, that's probably what I'll work on. And then this one, I am loving this one. I got a lot of work done on this one. This is Serena by Lila Studio. Can you see it? Oh man, I left my thread out for my cup. The last time you saw this one, I had the mermaid tail part of the body and I think I was starting on the fish and I had the key. So I've done the rest of the body, the hair, the jellyfish, all of this and starting on the coral. And this is on 18 count Da Vinci by Picture This Plus. Um, none of these colors are correct except for the hair and the skin. Everything else is just colors I'm picking out as I go. This one is actually um, a week's dye works, but it's not the one it calls for. Cannot remember what the name of it is. Oh man, I can't remember the name of it. Hang on, I think it's in here. It's not Creepy Jenny, that's Classic Color Works. It's the other one that looks like Creepy Jenny. It is Celadon, that's it. I think this is my favorite color by Week Style Works. I have a lot of this one, I, I love this color. And then I'm using Three Weeks Dye Works and a Classic Color Works on there. Well, I just can't hold on to anything. I'm dropping stuff everywhere, y'all. Okay, evidently I lost some floss or something. I don't know. Something fell. I'll find it later. When I'm needing it and I can't find it, I'll know it's under the bed. Okay, so that is all of my stitching. Um, I do have a little bit more haul. Well, I have a lot more, but it. Um, I just ordered it so it doesn't come in. But I found this cute little clip picture frame that I'm going to use for something at Walmart on clearance for $2.50. It's not wood. It's plastic, but it looks like wood. It's really lightweight, so I'm going to use this for something. I don't... I don't know what, but I'm going to put something small on here that I can change out. And then this is a Pioneer Woman brand frame that I got at Walmart. It's a little glassless box frame with a clip. It was like $5, I think. So I have that. And then I ordered a whole bunch of um, white fabric to dye for my Etsy shop. Um, about 250 skeins of floss, some more hoops, a, uh, a few more needles, and I think four or five charts. But they're not here yet because I just ordered those the other day. Um, and then, like I said, the, the FFO I showed you was from our Stitch People group on Facebook. And it was for the spring-summer exchange that just finished up. Um... The person I'm sending to is not the same person that sent to me. The person that sent to me, um, on Elfster, you get to pick, like, you get to make wish lists. You can pick at least three, but you can, it's like gifts you can pick off of websites. Or you can type something in. So, I put my likes as that I like 
um, Mississippi themed stuff for decor because we're from Mississippi so um, and she nailed it like she hit the sucker out of the park so if you follow me on Facebook you saw this I don't remember if I posted on Instagram but y'all this is what she sent me this is 8 by 10 is that not gorgeous it's a peppermint purple pattern and it is my state and look the thing that caught my eye if you know anything about Mississippi we have little barrier islands along the coast that you can see from the beach and she put them all in there that is so awesome that was the first thing I saw was the little islands because they're in black but I love this now you see it's in red white and blue and the funny thing is we were talking you know on Elfster because as soon as I got it I took a picture and said thank you you know I sent it through the Elfster app Told her thank you, and I was like, oh my gosh, you just don't even know how much I love this because I have a lot of Mississippi decor. And I said, this is going to fit in perfectly. I said, it didn't matter what color it was because, you know, it's fine. She, she tells me, well, are you an Ole Miss or a Mississippi State fan? Well, of course, I'm a diehard Bulldogs. Woohoo, go Bulldogs. And um, she said, well, that's good. She said, because if you notice, I did it in red, white, and blue. She said, my theory was... Had a 50-50 chance of being right. If you're an Ole Miss fan, it's perfect. If you're a Mississippi State fan, it's patriotic. And I was like, well, girl, I said, you, I noticed you did an Ole Miss color. I said, and that's fine. She said, well, I'm an Ole Miss fan. And I said, well, you know, I'm a Mississippi State fan. I said, but I guess that's okay. We, we can be friends, you know. And um, we laughed about it. But that was the best idea, you know, because I also said that I like patriotic stuff. So, if I was an Ole Miss fan, it fits because I like Ole Miss. But because I said I like patriotic, it's red, white, and blue. And that's patriotic. Whereas if she would have made it in maroon and white or maroon and gray from Mississippi State and I'd have been an Ole Miss fan, I'd have probably threw it in the garbage. <laughs> so, yeah, that was perfect. And I was totally blown away. Because the only requirement for the um, Stitch People thing is you have to, like follow the theme so I mean the spring and summer one is pretty much you can do whatever um, but it has to a minimum of a three inch hoop so that was like really crazy I was totally blown away uh, we were laughing when the package came because my son's ex-girlfriend was over here I mean she's like my daughter and she was over here and she gets the mail for us I said we well, go get the mail because we were bringing up groceries and um, she gets me, she's like, oh, you got a big package. And I said, I'm not expecting a package. Who's it from? She tells me the girl's name. I'm like, I have no idea who that is. She's like, what if it's a bomb? I'm like, okay, well, you open it. So she gets the scissors and she cuts it. And then she's like poking with the scissors, like peeking it. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's wrapped up in saran wrap or something. I'm like, well, it's not anthrax because you would have died by now. And uh, so she's like, let me pick it up. So she picks it up and she, she's being funny. She picks it up and shakes it by the quarter. She's like, well, there's no powder stuff coming out. She said, wait a minute. And she listens. She's like, well, I don't hear a bomb. She's like, I don't know. I'm like, well, cut it open. If we blow up, we blow up. So she cuts it open. And as she opens it, she's like, I think it's a gift. And I'm like, it's not my birthday. I'm not expecting it. Because I totally forgot with the COVID stuff about the exchange. Like, I had made my gift, but... I hadn't stuck it in the mail because things got crazy because we've been planning this since February and I totally forgot I had something coming. I'm like, I have no idea. Like, what's the name again? And she tells me, I'm like, I don't know who that is. I really didn't know who it was because we don't know who's sending to us. We just know who we're sending to. And um, so finally, I'm like, I'll just cut it open, whatever. So she cuts it open. She reads this note and she says, it's something about an exchange for a group. And I was like, oh, is it Stitch People? And she said, yes. I'm like, well, let me see what it is. And she's just over there like, oh. It's so pretty. And um, then she showed it to me because I was doing something. I think I was cooking or something. And um, she showed it to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And I was like, look at the barrier islands. So, yeah. We we had a laugh. It was a good laugh because we really thought there was like somebody was out to get me and mailed me a bomb. I mean, not that I do anything to deserve that. But, you know, people are crazy. <laughs> so. It's been 25 minutes. I have been rambling on like a maniac. Um, I had a Coke this morning. So I am like super, super hyper, I guess. Because uh, I don't normally drink sodas. 
so um, I was feeling kind of shaky, so I had some of soda. Um, but anyway, so that's about it. Um, I will have lots of haul to show you next week. Um, and when I get, I don't know if I'm going to dye my fabrics next week, because if we get this house that we, we're going to apply for the house on Monday. Uh, it's to rent, so... I mean, we might be able to move in next week. So it depends on if we move next week or the week after when I'm doing my next video. But um, whenever I do, I should have some of my fabrics done. So I'll be able to show you. Um, my Etsy shop is doing really, really well. So if any of you have stopped by or shared it, thank you so much. Um, I put like 26 or 27 fabrics in there that I hand dyed. Each one was individual, uh, unique. And um, I think I had four left, either three or four. I mean, it's not many. Um, so, yeah, I had to order a bunch. Um, because I'm not buying it in super, super bulk size right now, it's hard for me to get. So, when I get it, I have to buy it at one time. Um, so, this batch will be 18 because that's what I can get a hold of right now. Um, it'll be 18 count Ada. Um, what's in the shop that's left is 14 count Ada. And then I'm trying to find somewhere to buy like Lugana or um, Monaco from. Maybe buy the yard. Um, so I could do some different sizes. And then uh, I'm also checking into becoming a pattern sales. Um, so I'm checking on a wholesale account. I went and got a business license from my Etsy shop. Um, opened a separate bank account, like the whole nine yards. So I'm legitimately a business now. Um, so yeah, so be looking for updates of a lot of new stuff coming. I'm going to try to start getting supplies in and things like that. Uh, and once we get moved over, my next adventure will be trying to do hand dyed floss. So I'm going to try some for myself and use it and see how it works. And then if I think it's good enough quality, then I'll pass it on to y'all in the shop. So I will keep you posted. So now to the good stuff. I thank y'all so much for your shares and your mentions and your comments uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate it so much. When I started this, I figured like just two or three people would watch me and I'm up to 101 when I checked earlier today. Um, and I appreciate that more than you know. Like I've said a Almost every video, uh, the people in my family are not crafty at all. They're crafty. Like, they can draw. They can paint. And none of them sew, cross-stitch, uh, scrapbook, quilt. They don't do crochet. They don't do knitting. So, when I do all that, it's just me, myself, and I. So, I so much appreciate being able to share this time with y'all. Um, even though I can't see you on the other side of the screen, I know you're there eventually, and I really want to say thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Um, this gives me a little mental break from everything crazy going on in the world right now. Um, I mean, y'all know all about it. It's just, it's really stressful, and for people like me with high anxiety, it is a hundred times worse especially with me having um, biracial grandchildren and um, black family members um, across all generations of my family. So it's very scary the state the world's in right now. Um, I try to protest. I try to enlighten people as much as I can about the injustice that's been going on for so many hundreds of years um, because some people just don't see it that it's happening and that it really is um, and it breaks my heart that people are so pig-headed sometimes that they just don't understand that it's it's really going on it's not just a media propaganda thing it's really really happening um, so that's really got my anxiety going crazy and then my nephew and niece, their baby just found out, oh, well, they just found out that their baby has Carbe disease. Um, and the mortality rate of that is not good at all. Most children diagnosed with it do not make it to their second birthday. 
So if you are the praying kind um, to whomever you pray to, we would appreciate as many prayers as we can get um, because little Javen needs them. So if you don't know what carbase is, go look it up. Um, it's a very interesting disease that I had no idea about and I'm a medical assistant so I don't ever remember learning about it and the doctor literally told them it is so rare that less than 0.3% of the world's population has it so um, yeah so it's very new to us we're researching so yeah Javen and Daryl and Courtney could really use your prayers and I appreciate them so much uh, the cross stitch community is such a loving community so i know if y'all all help us lift them up in prayer it will definitely help okay now for the good stuff um i told y'all i was gonna do a giveaway for 100 subscribers and we hit 100 yesterday i, I guess it was yesterday because i haven't checked in a couple days and it woke me up with a message this morning so i'm assuming it was yesterday um so for the giveaway i have this kit by country cottage needleworks it is summer it has never been opened. Well, I opened the zipper back um, to put floss in here. I think I'm missing a couple of colors, but I will add them. And then you're also going to get the piece of hand dyed floss that I dyed for this pattern. I specifically dyed it for this. It's supposed to look like the sky with sunshine. Now, I don't know if you think it does, but I think it does. It does. I think this is going to be gorgeous on this pattern. So this is 14 count Ada. Um, like I said, I hand dyed it myself. Um, all of my, I don't ever do fabric in batches. Every single piece I hand dye individually. So they're all unique, 100% unique. They're not, they can be close, but they're not the same. Um, but anyway, this is what you'll win for your 100% the 100 person giveaway, 100 subscribers. And of course, I'll attach a nice little note, um, a thank you note. Because uh, even with my Etsy orders, I always do a handwritten note and add a little surprise in there. Um, so if you want to win the summer pattern by Country Cottage Needleworks, all you have to do is comment below and say, I want to stitch summer do not say give away so we can keep the trolls out of it. We don't want people jumping on just to win. Um, and you must be 18 years older. And I will announce the winner on my next video. I will actually put everybody's name in the wheel and I'll spin it on the Tiny Decisions wheel on camera. That way it's fair. And then I always leave my contact information in the description box below. So um, you can contact me there. And you'll have seven days from the day we announce it to contact me back. And if not, on the next video, I will draw another name. Um, what else? Oh, so since this cross-stitch community is so giving and so helpful with questions and finding answers for things, um, I am currently trying to get into um, selling stitch patterns in my Etsy shop and I'm going to contact a couple places about wholesale um, accounts but if you have any pertinent information that you think would help me get started uh, if you could comment below and just say hey I'm gonna contact you about uh, your Etsy shop or you can just you don't even have to comment below you can just email me or message me on Instagram or message me on Facebook um, I have all that in the comments in the uh, description box below so you can contact me anyway but um, I would greatly appreciate it and the other thing I have a few ideas for some cross stitch patterns um, later today I'm actually going to be buying um, the design software so um, if you have any tips about designing cross stitch patterns and if you've done it before and you know like things that you would have changed or that you would have done or wouldn't have done if you don't mind sharing that with me I would appreciate that also um, cause I have a few ideas for some patterns that I think will do well, but, um, I'm like a nervous wreck to get started. So, um, yeah, that probably won't come along until we move. That way it's, I'm not, um, so stressed out 
but um, I am going to download the software and start familiarizing myself with it tonight or tomorrow. So any any tips that you can give me will be greatly appreciated. Um, so I have rambled on like a crazy person for way too long. I apologize. Um, hopefully next time I have way more stitching. I want to have some more finishes. I want to try to get the um, B cup finished. I want to try to do Bloom, and I definitely want to try to get the Watermelon, uh, the Hello Summer one done. And then um, hopefully I'll have Serena done by then. That's one of my goals. Um, Halloween Quaker got put on the back burner. I was working on it so much that I got burnt out again, so it's just going to sit for a week or two. Um, and yeah, and I have so many new patterns that I want to start like right now that it's just like I'm trying to tell myself, no, you're trying to move don't start so um yeah so we shall see what i get done in a week so um hope everybody's health uh good lord y'all something is wrong with me today i can't drink coke no more <laughs> uh so hopefully everybody is happy and healthy uh having a great weekend um everybody enjoy father's day tomorrow hopefully you get to get outside and enjoy it um with whoever you get to celebrate with um I get to celebrate with my son, my son-in-law, and my daddy, so, and my husband. Oh, can't forget the husband. But yeah, we get to celebrate together because they're all going to be home. Um, so yeah, we'll celebrate probably barbecue or fish fry or something. I don't know. We're always cooking out. Um, and then that's about it. Happy stitching, everyone. Enjoy your rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time. Thanks.